Welcome to Sofia and get ready to embark on a delicious Bulgarian food journey. Brace yourself for the national favorite pastry, banitsa, and the mouth-watering breakfast delight, makitsa, with both sweet and savory versions. Don't miss out on the scrumptious Shopska salad. Join us as we enjoy our favorite restaurant meals in Sofia. Hungry yet? Let's dig in. Sometimes it's hard to get started in the morning without just a little cup of coffee, like my small little latte here from Costa. Mmm, hits the spot. Mm. Good morning. All right, so we've been looking for these benitza. We're looking for a warm one. All the ones we've tried so far have been cold. They've been pretty good, but they've been cold. These are warm, so I'm gonna try this nice warm one with the cheese and spinach. It feels good. It's a lot better warm. Very greasy, but very good. The warm, having it warm makes it a lot better. Good choice. Okay, so we went to this uh, bakery. Um, I do not know the name of it. We'll put the name in the, in the titles of the video. But uh, in downtown Sofia, by far the best bonitsa we've had since we've been here. It was nice and warm. We had the cheese, cheese spinach, and also a pumpkin, which was very good and sweet. And we got the, the sweet uh, or the salty yogurt drink. Um, this is actually pretty good. It's a little unique when you first try it, but it's, it's salty, but pretty good and, and filling. And there's another drink that I had a couple days ago called Boza. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. We filmed that, but we had audio difficulties. There's no sound to that. But that is like, a, it's a thick wheat type drink. I'm not 100% sure what it's based off of, but that is definitely an acquired taste. Um, didn't really enjoy that too much. So I got about, drink about half a bottle and that's about all I could do. But this uh, <clears throat> salty yogurt drink is actually quite good. And you can get this with, um, with flavoring. We had one the other day with like a strawberry flavoring in it. It was a little sweet and that was uh, good as well. But the, the plain salty one uh, actually goes really well with the benitsa. So uh, yeah, there you go. You gotta have that. And then you gotta get the benitsa and you gotta go to this shop and get them in the morning when they're warm because they are a lot better warm than they are cold. Let me tell you that. We're about to have our meal here in uh, Sofia and I have like a traditional lamb casserole. It is so hot, it just came out of the oven. It smells delicious. And then Betty has meatballs and mashed potatoes, which also looks and smells very good. We had this bread that you kind of dip it into this salt, and, which is quite tasty. We had a plate of grilled vegetables, which were really delicious. Um, mushrooms, eggplant, zucchini, bell peppers, tomatoes. It was really quite delicious. We also had a shafka, shafska salad, which is like a traditional salad. It's very kind of similar to a Greek salad, but the um, has the feta cheese, which is shredded instead of just in cubes. So that was also very good. So, all right, bon appetit. All right, so after dinner, it's common to have uh, rakia, which is the local fire water, a little shot to uh, or drink to help your digest your food. And this one is uh, great rakia and it's, it smells quite flavor, smells, smells pretty strong. I don't know what the alcohol content is, but it definitely smells strong. It smells good, but strong. So cheers. It smells strong because it is pretty strong, but quite tasty though. All right, so we just had a fantastic meal here. Um, I'm not even gonna try to say the name because I would really butcher it, but I'm pretty sure this means monastery. And from what I understand, all of their, I don't know if this actually used to be a monastery or not, but all of their dishes are based on like hundreds of years old dishes from monasteries, I guess, throughout Bulgaria. So very, um, old um you know country style cooking you know which kind of 
you find all over the world in like very basic rustic type dishes, but very flavorful and very delicious. So if you're in Sofia, I recommend you stop by here and get yourself a nice traditional Bulgarian meal. Came out to Makitsa and coffee for some Makitsa. <coughs> I have one with cheese and we have one with jam and a latte. It's supposed to be the best place in town, I think. Mm. Delicious, it's a great snack. When you come to Sofia, come to Makitsa and coffee. All right, so we just had a fantastic meal here at MoMA. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, somewhat correctly, but uh, it was really great. Uh, Betty had roasted duck leg cooked in like a pot with vegetables and, and seasoning. And it had like bread cooked on the top. So the presentation was phenomenal. They brought it to your table and they cooked the, cut the little bread top off and flip it over. That was really great. And I had a little I don't know, with pork and veal and different vegetables cooked in, baked in like a, a bread bowl. And so they cut the top of that off and that was fantastic. The beer was good. Service was great. Um, we asked the guy what, what he recommended from two dishes and he actually pointed out the cheapest one. So I thought that was pretty good, and but really phenomenal. So next time you're in Sofia, you got to stop by here and have a nice meal at MoMA. So we are on Vitosha Street, which is the main pedestrian drag here in Sofia. And there's lots of restaurants and places to drink and stop and eat and enjoy the day. But uh, we wanted to try some gelato because we heard that uh, the gelato in Sofia is very good, uh, almost as good as comparable to that in Italy. So we'll be the judge of that. All right, so we have in this cup, I have some um, pistachio. And I also have some caramel cream. And so we're gonna try it and see what it's like. Pretty good. Um, yeah. Okay. The caramel cream is really good. Pistachio is also good. Not quite up to Italian standards, but it is quite tasty. It's definitely worth stopping in here at the cafeteria, uh, gelateria, Alfredo, Alfredo. And now I'm going to try the, this is white chocolate with like a pistachio cream on top. Oh, that's really good. I think this is my favorite one, actually. Mm. That's good. So I can recommend for sure. All of them are good, no doubt about that. I can recommend the white chocolate with the pistachio cream on top. Second place is the caramel cream. And third place, but not last, is or maybe, maybe it is last of these three, I don't know. But the pistachio is very good. So enjoy the Vitosha Street here in Sofia. We snagged an outdoor table at a restaurant close to our hotel, sampling traditional Bulgarian food. While it wasn't exactly our top pick in Sofia, it sure won the award for the most budget-friendly meal of our trip. We hope you enjoyed the food adventure in Sofia. Don't forget to hit the like button and join our channel by subscribing. We're halfway to our goal of hitting 1,000 subscribers.